Good morning guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have my July empties. Today is August 4th. I've recorded this a couple times and my computer keeps deleting it. I apologize ahead of time, I might be clearing my throat a lot. I had an endoscopy a couple of days ago and the, um, for some reason it makes me kind of coffee for a couple of days, so I apologize. So for candles, um, first up I have Coastal Morning, which the scent notes are white pomelo, blue lavender, and silver cedar. I put this on my hot plate warmer, and I was going to melt it down into silicone molds like I do all of my candles, and as it was melting, I realized I really didn't like it. So I went ahead and left the lid off, pulled the wicks out, let it melt down every day for about seven days. Still has a little bit of fragrance left. This is very cologne in my opinion. So if you're into cologne scents, this one was a good one, but I don't care for cologne. So I won't be repurchasing that. Another one I had was beach grass, which is morning dew, rain soaked greens, white freesia. This is a nice, um, it's not fresh cut grass exactly because it's more salty and aquatic than that. It was good. There's a certain time of year that I'm really into these, you know, I go through phases. So when I wanted this, this was nice. Next up we have Indigo Sky, which is fresh bergamot, soft neroli petals, and an airy musk, white cedar wood. This was good. This one was more tolerable for every day. Um, it's a clean scent, not clean like laundry, but just clean, fresh. I did like that. I enjoyed that. Um, scoopables. I have Hayden Row Lemon Pound Cake. And just so you know, I do save these. I haven't cleaned this one out yet, but I love to save these scoopable containers and take, this is not beach nights, um, I take my chopped up loaves and put these in my melting basket so that I don't have chopped up loaves everywhere. This is squeaky clean and it just helps. And if you're traveling, these really help to make sure that your wax doesn't get messed with. So, um, I haven't cleaned this out yet. This is lemon pound cake. This is a really nice, um, a little bit tart, but mostly sweet bakery. I don't get a lot of like cake from it. It's just a sweet lemon. It's nice. I did mix this sometimes with uh, like Hello Sugar and made it a little bit more zesty and tart when I wanted that. Exotic lavender, always a favorite. This is a very, very clean lavender. To me, it smells like you just cleaned your house. It's a tad, tad like lavender fabuloso. Very, very nice. I have many backups of that. Hello Sugar is a very nice zesty lemon, sour. It smells to me when you open a can of that frozen lemonade concentrate. It's kind of a little bit salty, a little bit sour. This is what it smells like to me. So good. Um, last scoop I have in L3 Beach Glass. I don't save these containers. This was okay. It was kind of salty sea air. It was missing some notes for me, so I added like Hayden Rose Sea Salt, Hayden Rose Driftwood, some toasted marshmallow, whatever I was feeling to make it um, more palatable because I didn't like it that much on its own. Okay, so now scent shots. I have... Um, Impossible Girl from Super Tarts, Cappuccino, Birthday Cake, and Cotton Candy. I melted this in my son's room. I did not like it. It had a little bit, uh, the coffee note was not my favorite. I've had some good coffee. Sassy Girl has an amazing coffee. Hayden has some amazing coffee. This one smells a little bit like that other one she has that has like a Coke note to it, a Coca-Cola note, so not a favorite. E.T., which is chocolate candies, cream-filled cannoli, French baguette, and toasted marshmallow, again in my son's room. Is nice, nice bakery. Anna Beth is saltwater taffy and pink sugar. These are almost all from February 2018. Nice bakery. Uh, sorry, not bakery. Nice, sweet. Um, this one was not a strong performer for me, though. Antique shop. I love, love, love antique shop. This is so unique. The first time I smelled it, I did not understand why anybody would like a smell like this. It's kind of dusty and just smells like old things. And after melting it, it's so calming and relaxing. I need to pick up some more of that. Cool Lavender and Linen from Barrett's. Very nice Lavender Linen. Better Homes and Gardens Tropical Island Dream. This is okay. 
Scentsy. I didn't get through a ton of Scentsy, but Huckleberry Clementine. If you like Huckleberry Clementine, I don't believe it's out anymore, but Hayden Rowe just had a restock and her, what is it, either late summer or bye-bye summer, one of them that's berries is exactly the scent. Yes, that was really, really good. I like that. Huckleberry is unique. It's not blueberry. It's not raspberry. It's very good. Flor de Mariposa from the La Habana collection several years ago. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is a very nice floral citrus pop. I melted this with Hayden Rowe shorts and sweaters because I had seen some blends that she had with orange on it and I wanted to try it. It was really good. Citrus pop is a sweet orange. Oodles of orange I did not like very much. Another citrus pop. My Wish from Scentsy. This was a marshmallow note. I used to love this. It was from a Bring Back My Bar a couple years ago. Um, yeah, it's marshmallow. I don't know why I loved it so much, but I'm over that phase. Orange Dreamsicle. My son loves this one. This one's a little bit brighter. It's um, like an orange Jamba Juice. Really good. Um, I guess I'll get into bags. So... I had Vermont from a mystery bag from Hayden Rowe from way back when. This was a pine scent. Really good, actually. And then Frying Pan River Cabins from Centennial Chic Scents, also a pine scent. And I usually don't go for pine in the middle of summer, but I was feeling it. It was great. <clears throat> now I have quite a few little baggies. I have Praline Cookie from Rainbow Melts, uh, Sticky Pralines and Sugar Cookie. That was so good. Hayden Rowe Coconut Cake. I've had this before. This was a sample sent from my friend Devin in a D-stash. Her coconut cake is very nice, toasty, cashmere and cocoa butter. I cannot say enough good things about this. This is from Simo. I ended up picking this up and then getting customs of it. It is so good. On cold, I wasn't really sure about it. I put it in the warmer. I kept coming in and going, what did I put in the warmer? This I will have to have forever. Pink sheets, pink chiffon, and clean cotton. Pink Sheets is not um, Pink Sugar. Pink Chiffon's not quite as sweet. That was really nice. Blackberry Raspberry Fresh Picked Strawberries. This was good. Destination Wax Frozen, which is cold menthol and eucalyptus and peppermint. This was really good. Guava and Passion Fruit from Barrett's. A sample. Did not care for that. Give me some sugar from Teddy Bees. That was okay. Laundry Day from Teddy Bees was really good. April Fresh Type from Simo, really good. Iceberry Tea from Superchart Sampler, pretty nice. Seaside Blossoms from Pink Mermaid, very good. Dove Soap, this smells exactly like a bar of Dove Soap, very good. Snow Fairy from Sassy Girl from 2017, I will say it's still through like a champ. It was very, very strong, the age didn't do anything to it, but I've learned that I don't really like that Snow Fairy. Get some stuff out of the way. How to Get to Sesame Street from BCS was fine. Hey Cabana Boy, I think it was Hey Cabana Boy Hey from the Rose Girls Smell My Box. It was forgettable. Pink Marshmallows and Driftwood from Smell My Box. If I was going back in for anything, I would get this and Vanilla Sandalwood Campfire Marshmallow. Those are, I don't know if it's the Driftwood or the Marshmallow. I don't know what exactly it is about these two blends, but they were so pretty and smooth. This is Americana Smoothie and Milla Blackberry Noel from Rose Girls. I had two pie slices in here. Good bakery. I love you and I like you. I think this was an olive branch blend. It was good. Cookie Monster Man, um, Cookie Monster and Marshmallow Man, I think, from BCS. It was okay. Saturday Evening Post and Jackie O from BCS was pretty good. Honolulu Clean Breeze from Sassy Girl from 2017. This was uh, 2018. This was really, really good. Slytherin Honeydew Melon Blackberry and White Tea. Uh, this was nice. I do like melon scents though. This was Bath and Body Works Sunlit Cashmere. I loved that. Um, this is some of the stuff I got from the Rainbow pre-order a couple months ago, like March, April. You're going to need a bigger boat, which is st Sweet Strawberry and Ocean Breeze. I loved this. I think I have a loaf of that. Fluff and Fold, Fabric Sheets, Snuggle and Downy, really good laundry. Lucky Marshmallow, I liked this. I went crazy for cereal scents a while ago, and then I realized they're just not all they're cracked up to be. This one is really good. It's Sweet Frosted Cereal and Hints of Fruit and Marshmallows. I think this had a little bit of a, like, um, 
kind of a lime kick to it, so it was really good. Voodoo is sage, black pepper, and Palo Santo. This is a very masculine, very woodsy, kind of like aged black cedar antique shop from um, Barrett's, and yet it's got some kind of green to it. Nice. Black sea shave and a haircut. Very masculine, very nice. Greek Island Breeze, which is clean citrus notes and soft ozone, watery undertones. This one is interesting. It's got kind of an olive smell to it. Um, if you've never tried Greek Island Breeze, you should try it. It's clean, it's strong, it's kind of nutty, olivey, it's different. Lavender Vanilla and Clean Cotton, this was really good. I am weary of a lot of lavender vanilla because sometimes they smell funky. I've had some from Bath & Body Works that smell like cheese or something funky. This one did not, this one was very nice. Out of the Shower, which is shampoo plus Dove and White Clouds. This was really good. Black Raspberry Vanilla Pink Sugar and Vanilla Sandalwood. I tried to love this, but it was too tart for me. I Maybe it's the raspberry. I didn't care for this too much. I melted it. Once it was going for a couple of hours, it kind of toned down on that tartness, and it was okay, but I wouldn't necessarily repurchase. Cookie Heaven. So I had some friends coming over, and I didn't know what would... Um, irritate their sense of, you know, you just don't know. You don't want something too masculine. And so I wanted something just totally subtle. And this is gourmet sugar cookie, Danish butter cookie, and vanilla butter fudge. So good. Just a plain bakery. Not plain in a bad way. Just, you know, not too offensive. And it threw for the entire day. So good. The label fell off, but this was vanilla sandalwood from Rose Girls. Pedi Colada. I think that had like, it was a fruity blend. Slurp, Cereal Killer Rice Krispies, and Sugar Milk. Again, I'm over the cereal blends, but the boys loved that. Alice has Gone Wild, I think, had either cantaloupe or honeydew. I enjoyed that. Hayden Rose, Spring Green. This was a blend. These were duckies. Um, it had some green to it, some melon. It was nice. This was a Mega Loaf, Jessie's Girl, rebagged. I still have some left. This is Jessie's Girl, a perfumey scent. Very popular with her. Lemon Mint. This is a really nice um, clean your house type of get rid of odors scent. It's a bright fresh lemon, but that mint is like straight mint leaf. Like if you've ever had Vietnamese spring rolls, that's what that smells like. Fluffy Towels was really, really good. This was Duckies, and I have ordered a backup loaf, possibly two of that. American Cream, again from Mega Loaf. I love American Cream. I blend this with so many things, and her American Cream is gorgeous. Press Linen. I'm not a huge lover of anything lemon, and this was a lemon laundry, so um, I would not repurchase this. It was nice for what it was, but I was never really excited about putting it in the warmer. It just wasn't quite my thing. Cabana, on the other hand, shorts and sweater with sea salt. Gorgeous. I love that. And Raspberry Jam Vanilla Bean Noel. Same thing. A little bit tart for me with the raspberry. I ordered this when I first started buying um, Hayden, and I wanted some loaves, some bigger quantities. It was okay. I thought the Vanilla Bean Noel would tone it down more, and it would be sweeter, And but it was pretty tart. Once it was going for a couple hours, again, it smoothed out. It was fine, but not something I would rush to repurchase. Now, scent shots. Let's see if I have enough room for all this stuff. Let's take some of this out. All right, scent shots. I have Fizzy Pop from Hayden Row. Very nice. I have Blue Drift Laundry from Centennial Chic Scents. I loved this. Palisade Peaches from Centennial Chic. This was really, really good. I used half a scent shot in um, the boys' room, small room. It was amazing. It threw for days, and it smelled so authentic. It um, reminded me a lot of that peach oatmeal that you get. So good. Barbershop 1920s from Hayden, always a favorite. Centennial Chic Scents Vanilla Lavender, Lavender Vanilla. Again, this was one I could actually, didn't have that funky note. Coconut Coast. I think I bought, did I get some of this from Devin? I think I might have picked up half a loaf of this. I was saving this scent shot because I love this scent. I think I got half a loaf from Devin. Vanilla Lace from Destination Wax. Very nice. Uh, this was also from Devon's Sweet Smell of Victory. I had been wanting to try this, but hadn't gotten it, so I'm glad I had that and enjoyed that. Lotus Blossom. This was really, really good. This was a very strong floral. Very nice. Very, very nice. Um, kind of smells like rose a little bit to me. Just a very, very strong floral. 
Caribbean Lavender, another fantastic one. I wasn't sure how I felt about Centennial Chic Scents. I've tried a few things and I just wasn't sure. I put this in and waited. <laughs> and, <clears throat> excuse me, when it finally came alive, I was like, yes, I need to try more of her stuff. I do have some stuff. But um, this Caribbean Lavender was so good. It was fruity and the lavender is gorgeous. I loved that. Another great one from Centennial Chic, Mango Coconut. Melted this in my son's room. He loves mango. The coconut was perfect. Oh, yes. That's very good. Now I had a little lotus blossom my friend gave me. I've never tried Up North Creations. She gave me a little lotus blossom. Clean floral, slightly sweet with light powdery touches. This was okay. It wasn't a powerhouse performer, but it was nice. Pink Mermaid. We have Clean. I love this scent. I think it has like a little bit of bubble gum to it, which I usually don't like, but I love that. Pink Palm Tree is another really good one. Um, beach Nights. So I think Pink Mermaid has my favorite Beach Nights. It's probably a tie between her and Sassy Girl. I do need to place a Pink Mermaid order and get some more of her stuff because her stuff is definitely worth it. Bubble Bubble. Um, I think this was, yeah, this was kind of a bubble bath type of scent and it was nice. Luck of the Irish. This was a very green, kind of reminds me of bonsai or cactus. Very green. Is that all of them? No. So next up I have my little Hayden Roo. Bora Bora. This was really good. A fruity. I would actually repurchase that. Blackberry ginger ale. Um, fresh picked blackberry, crisp ginger ale. If you're a fan of ginger ale, it was really good. Black Velvet, Lemon, Bergamot, French Lavender, Tonka, Amber, Sandalwood, and Musk. Um, I think I mixed this with Waffle Cone, and it was okay, but eh. Driftwood, really, really good. I have a loaf of that. Black Flip Flops, I also picked up a loaf of that. This is really good. Tropical Vanilla and Black Coconut type, so good. White Linen, Clean Crisp Laundry type. Um, not my favorite type of linen. I don't know why that one was a little off for me. Wood sage and sea salt, gorgeous. I got either one or two backup loaves. Honey clementine, I usually hate everything in honey. This one was really good. Orange peel, sweet clementines and honey, so good. Mint fairy, spearmint, bubblegum, cotton candy, pear, vanilla. I don't like bubblegum scents, I didn't like this. Pina colada, at first I thought I really loved pina colada. It's very authentic, but there's a note in there that I don't care for, so I wouldn't purchase. Taffeta, this smells like an old lady, but it's like interesting and I kind of liked it. Jasmine, Poppy, Yuzu Zest, Florals, and Light Musk. I do want to pick up another scent shot of this just to remind myself what it smells like because it was interesting. It needs more than one melt. Blue Skies, Citrus, Anise, Jasmine, Lavender, Musk, and Cedar. I picked up a loaf of this, I think. It wasn't the greatest performer, but it was nice. Velvet, I have this in scoops. Candy cane fluff, here's my deal. I think almost all peppermint bakery, peppermint cookie, peppermint cupcake, I feel like a lot of that just smells the same. I just get the peppermint. So candy cane fluff, yes, smells like peppermint. <laughs> Late summer, there it is. Ripe red raspberries, ripe red berries, currant, blackberry, rhubarb, and vanilla. Smells like huckleberry clementine, so good. Lemon tranquility, my husband loved this. Santa's Cookies, another just bakery and peppermint, get peppermint. Rio, this was from a while ago. Raspberry, strawberry, cranberry, apples, light florals, exotic woods, and musk. It smells like body care, like a Bath and Body Works lotion. Sand in your shorts, eh. Rosemary Mint Lemonade, I wasn't crazy about this. Beach Daisies, I love this. I bought a loaf of this. That's the only thing I bought from the August restock. Santa's Cookies, another just peppermint. Galactic, uh, Green Notes, Musk, Ozone, Mild Patchouli. I think this reminded me of a Lush Balm. I don't remember which one, but I did like it. And Beach Bum. I do love Beach Bum. I missed out on that, unfortunately, and I only had the little ducky, but I finally decided summer is the time to use it. So I have one last empty, and that is my Scentsy Go Pods. But I wanted to show you guys a little trick. Um, when I use these up, these have little rice granules or something in them, and they do lose their fragrance, but they're expensive. It's like $10 for a pack of pods, and I can't get down with that. So what I do, I have quite a few of their room sprays from a flash sale a while ago, and this is apple butter frosting. So what I do is I save these containers, and I just squirt them down.
give them, you know, a couple hours to marinate in there, and then they are refreshed. So you can really, once they lose their scent and they're just neutral, you can spray any type of spray on there that you want, any of the room sprays. So I do like doing that. So again, this is kind of an empty, but I will continue to reuse it. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.